Embracing the strange, today's illusion is take me there, down on the first page of my 6x6 canvas paper pad. So this is the smallest painting I've ever done, and I took it on with unwavering confidence, which is new. Also, if you're new, illusions are what I call my paintings. It seems fitting, seeing as how I am scarred by illusion. This painting has too many sibling, cousin, and friend paintings to name, and for that reason, I know it's continuation to a series. I am just unsure which, and since I've yet to name them, it's difficult to even speak about. If I went off titles, this is a follow-up to On So I Will, a first page, a canvas pad or so back, er, 39 paintings ago, if I want to be pedantic about it. Anyway, the tone is different than the others, at least to me. Joyfully in pursuit of something, the figure is caught mid-run or mid-leap as its head swings down from its elongated neck, so distorted from rubbernecking all perspectives, evaluating every path. The momentum of the body expresses courage and confidence with its direction and motive unlike before. The figure's arms are poised in action. The hollow of the body holds a lone purple bead resembling an eye or a vertical balance level. Above it, a red eye with a blue pupil gazes out. This is very uncharacteristically happy of me, and it's also very harmonious, but oddly, I conceptualize the sketch for this along with many not so cheery others of its family, so I doubt my mind, my overall mood, even really aligned with its message, at least how I perceive it now. What do you think? Comment your thoughts. If you're familiar with my work, this is, you know, very much my art style, but it's so randomly pleasant. Is this my version of a sunny meadow painting? I don't know, and I find it kind of off-putting, a little gross. Like, why, why are you so perky? Good segue. I kind of hate to say it, but I can't unsee it or unthink it myself, so I'll call it. The pose is very Lord, solar power. I didn't even listen to that album once I heard the single, or singles, I can't remember what I listened to. I didn't like it, though. That's what I know for sure. It was such a drastic departure from her previous albums, I just couldn't. This is also a bit Skip It, the toy you know if you know, a good ankle-cracking toy. Back to the subject of music, I associate this painting with the song Right to be Wrong by Joss Stone. So, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.